Remember, to best manage it, you need to be able to measure it. I'll demonstrate a way to measure what I call the optimal breathing window. Stop right now and fighting for every bit of breath you can. While you feel the strain, breathe in as deeply as you possibly can. Even let your eyes get very wide open, your shoulders raised, and your neck muscles bulged out. Exhale, letting the breath go. Call that uppermost in-breath a 10. Now, take a deep breath, but stop when it gets full, but not strained. Exhale, then breathe naturally. Call that comfortable uppermost in-breath an eight. Now, breathe into your eight and just let the breath escape in a relaxing exhale. So if you were to breathe out more, you would have to force it. Call that point a three, then breathe naturally. Now, breathe into an eight, and let the breath go to three. Then immediately exhale, forcing the breath out with your belly muscles, like blowing out the candles on a birthday cake, to as close as you can, no breath left at all. Feel the strain and tension in your body from three to zero, then breathe naturally. Try that again. Into eight, then relaxed out to three, then forced out to zero. Breathe naturally. Many do not breathe very deeply, so they mostly breathe into, say, four or five. Then they use or spend three, four, five or more of the air while speaking or singing, and end up at zero to 2.9. In other words, below three, the point where tension begins. This causes a great deal of restriction in the same area as does the abdominal startle response. Then, one is so out of breath, they pull in or gasp the air, causing friction and further tension. The cycle keeps repeating and worsening with every sentence. So when I say breathe during practice between the window of three and eight, or four and seven as a soft form, you breathe to seven or eight and never strain on the inhale. Then Make sure you do not go past three on the exhale. In this way, you begin to develop a habit of staying mostly between three and seven. 